dividing by decimal. Uh, this is one of the topics that uh, people find really difficulty because uh, they don't have a clear understanding what is uh, what it means to divide by decimal. So let's do what, some examples, which is the best way to learn anything. So the first question is 12.6 divide by, divided by 0 0.6. So I will write this uh, in a different way. This is same as writing 12.6. This line is called the division line over 0 0.6. Now, when you want to divide by a decimal, it's always good to make that a whole number. So the 0 0.6, I say, well, to make it a whole number, what if I multiply this, if I make this 10 times bigger, this will become 6. I want, I'll, I want to make this 10 times bigger. So I'm going to multiply the denominator with, this is the denominator, I'm going to multiply the denominator with 10. So if you multiply the denominator with 10, you would also multiply the numerator by 10. So this changes to, so 12.6 times 10 becomes 126, and 0 0.6 times 10 becomes, uh, times 10 becomes uh, 0. Uh, 0 0.6 times 10 becomes 6. So this question changes to 126 divided by 6. So that is same as 120 plus 6 divided by 6, which is same as 120 divided by 6 plus 6 divided by 6. Okay, so this is 120 divided by 6. I don't look at the 0. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 120 divided by 6 would be 20 plus 1. So the answer is 21. We'll check this on a calculator later on. So the answer is 21. Okay. So one, the next question is 1.48 divided by 0 0.4. So I'm going to write this as 1.48 divided by 0 0.4. So same thing. I want to make this 10 times bigger. So I'd also multiply. I'd also make this 10 times bigger. So I'm going to multiply this with 10 and this also with 10. So this becomes 1.48, if you multiply by 10, this is becoming 10 times bigger, so this is 14.8 divided by 4. Okay, now how will you divide 14.8 divided by 4? So I'm going to write this like this. So this is same as 12 plus 2.8 divided by 4. So this is nothing but 12 divided by 4 plus 2.8 divided by 4. Okay, so I'm going to sh So the 12 divided by 4 is, is easy. This is 3. And this is, I'm going to half. So this is same as 1.4 divided by 2. I'm dividing this by 2. I'm dividing this by 2. Making half of them. This is nothing but 3 plus... 1.4 divided by 2 means you're doing half of 1.4. That is simple. That is 0 0.7. So the answer is 3 point. So this is nothing but 3.0 plus 0 0.7. So the answer is 3.7. So yeah, the answer is 3.7. Okay, so let's check this on the calculator. So the first question is... 12.6 divided by 0 0.6, or 12.6 divided by 0 0.6, which is 21. So answer is right. So the second question is 1.48, uh, 1.48.48 divided by 0 0.4 which is 3.7. Okay, so we have checked both the questions. So let us look at one more question, two more questions. 16.5 divided by 0 0.11. So, so this is, I'll write same thing again, 16.5 divided by 0 0.11. So I want to make this a whole number on an integer. So I have to multiply this by 
100 so to make this 100 times bigger so if you multiply this by 100 it will also multiply this by 100 so this changes to so 16.5 times 10 is 165 okay and then again by 10 so this is 1650 over 11 so here if you think about it if you want to make this 165 times it by 10 and then again you got to multiply by 10 because 100 has two lots of 10 okay, or 2 or 10 times 10 is 100 so this is 1650 divided by 11 so well i can say this is 1100 plus how much is this is 550 so this has to be 550 over 11 so this is nothing but 1100 over 11 plus 550 over 11. So this is, uh, this becomes 100 and this is 50. So the answer is 150. Okay, so yeah, the answer is 150. And finally, 1.107, so I'll rewrite, so this is 1.107, 107 divided by 0 0.9. So I want to make this 9, so I have to multiply by 10 here. So the same thing to the numerator by 10. So this will become 10 times bigger. So this is, this becomes 11.07 divided by 9 okay so now what can I do so this this is nothing plus but 9 plus 2 is 11 so 2.07 over 9 I'm not doing the long do you can do the long division so this is 9 over 9 plus 2.07 over 9 now I know that this can be divided exactly by 9 the reason is if we add them, this is uh, 2 plus 0 plus 7 is 9. So this number is divisible by 9. So this is say 1 plus 2.07 divided by 9. How will we do this? So let us do the long division method here. Or uh, can we do in a different way? So this is 2.07 divided by... so. Let us ignore the let us ignore the decimal. So let us divide 207 by 9. Okay. So this 9 goes in 20 how many times? 9 goes in 20 uh, two times. Okay. So this is the long division method. And this is so if you take away 20 take away. Actually this is 9 times this is in the tens place okay or in this is in the hundreds tens place so this is 180 in fact okay so nine doesn't go in nine doesn't go in two so you put a zero there and then this is in the tens place so nine times this is 20 okay this is my tens place so i you can write uh 180 now 207 take away 180 is 27 so nine goes in 27 three times okay so this is this here the decimal place you have got two digits after the decimal place so here this would be z so the decimal place is here so here you got this you have to place the decimal point there so this is one plus zero point two three so the final answer would be one point two three so let us check whether our answer is right. Uh, here's our calculator. So the question was 165 divided by 16.5 divided by 0 0.11. So the answer was 150. That's right. So 150 is the right answer. And finally, 1.107 divided by 0 0.9 which is 1.23
Yeah, so all our answers are right.